Dear children, good morning to Ananda. After so long time back, now we are meeting each other to start our new lesson. As we said earlier, there will be an exam by next week, Tuesday and Thursday. I think you all have studied it, right? And the thing I would like to say, those who are not submitted your notebook, please submit it after this class. Okay, then come to our topic. The new lesson is transportation. As you all know what is called transportation. It is a thing move from one place to another place. Or the human being move from one place to another place. Or any type of living being those who are movable, they are transporting from one place to another place is called transportation. It is very interesting to study about transportation, how the people transport from one place to another place. And before going to start this lesson, please watch this video to know the history and development of transportation. Let's watch it. Do you see this path? This was made by humans. This is how they used to travel in this time. They just walked everywhere they needed to go. But after a point, they figured out that they could interact with and use the animals around them. They used to tame horses, sit on their backs and direct the animals wherever they wanted to go. On the horse, you know, be a little more comfortable. To travel, we now used animal legs, not ours. By this time, they had also figured out how to travel over water by making primitive boats made out of logs of wood with holes in them. Over time, the build of the boats became better, more complicated. They figured out how to join two pieces of wood together. They started building the boats based on the shape of fishes so that they could wade through the waters better. But the most significant and important invention that happened in this time is the wheel. So here's the funny thing. The wheel wasn't invented for traveling at first. The first wheels were used to make clay pots and vessels. But soon, human beings realized that they could be using the wheel for something better. Started building carriages that were tied to horses and supported on wheels. When the horses moved fast, the carriage would also move as fast without the human having to spend much energy. So people could now transport huge and heavy things over. Major invention happened. Something called the steam engine. The source of the fuel was water. So they would just boil water with coal. And you know what you get when you boil water with coal? You get steam. And they used the steam that was produced to move machines. The first major use of the steam engine was developed in 1804 for trains. Few years, the steam engine got improved upon. It was made smaller, smaller, more mobile. And it was called the automobile or the automobile. It had a movable set of wheels and it didn't need a railway line. So if people didn't want to travel as far as the other side of the country, they needn't have walked, they needn't have gone by train, they could just use their automobiles. The steam engine wasn't just used on roads, it took to the water too. Boats and ships then got motorized, travelling by water got so much faster. They would use steam to turn turbines under the water to propel the ship or the boat forward. Instead of using oars to move the boat, this was much faster, importantly much easier as well. Human beings decided that land and water wasn't enough and eventually they took to the skies. In 1900, the Wright brothers invented the first aircraft, a flying glider that would take off with the help of air currents and land after a few meters. It was also slowly improved upon to carry more goods and passengers across countries and thousands of kilometers in a matter of just a few hours. I think you all watch this video and you all know about the idea of what is called a transportation, right? And the development of transportation, how the people use this transportation facilities in their life and what are the developments are there in the transportation, right? And the wonderful thing that invention of a wheel, how they are used it. Okay, that also we all know that it's a time to read the textbook. Here. The person or the boy 
who is very very happy to going uh, to Saudi. Okay, according to that, that is a small passage is given you a textbook. Um, Nazib got up earlier in the morning. He is a very happy today. From that you have to study until the next page you have to be wind up. Good and safe. Nowadays transportation is very easy and fast. In our childhood it was difficult and time consuming. Grandpa said to himself. Based on that point, here is the question. Can you guess the reason? So the grandpa told that in his childhood. The transportation was difficult and time consuming. Here you have to write the reason for that. Right. Next question. Ask your grandparents about the vehicles they used in their childhood for transportation and list them, list them out. So if you ask your grandparents, they can say one, two, three, four. So ask to your grandparents what are the vehicles they are using for the transportation and list out them one by one. Clear. Yeah. The next question. What are the vehicle we use for transportation now? This is the question. I don't want to explain you because you people are know what are the vehicles we are using to move from one place to another place now. So it is easy to write. Right. So the next question. Can you find out the changes happened? What are they? By watching that video, we can easily answer for this question. What are the changes are happening in this transportation? Right? From the beginning, how it was and now how it is. So by comparing these two things, we can easily answer the changes. Can you do this thing? It's a homework for you to do in this textbook by using only pencil. Correct? Bye.